He feels the seals weaken. He knows you are close. You must be ready. What's that? Who? No! No! They're here! Who is they? The Carter? No. Worse. More treacherous. More dangerous. The Wardens! They listen to Corypheus. They want to bring him the light. Stop them. You must stop them. Something's happening. The prison's breaking down. But it stood up to tunneling before. What can... <gasps> you. You have the key. And you've come through the seals. But how? Champion? Are you the one? The same hawk, child of Malcolm? The Carter said they were close. You must be her. I am Janica. I lead this unit of Grey Wardens. Senior Warden, why are you interested in my father? Then you don't know. Without Malcolm, this prison would have fallen 30 years ago. Tell me what my father did. The Grey Wardens built this prison to contain one of the most powerful Darkspawn we've ever encountered. But even the best magic fades. The Wardens need to reinforce the seals. This requires the blood of a mage untainted by Warden training. The last to perform the ritual was your father. My father was a blood mage. To avert the blights, forbidden magics are sometimes necessary. Perhaps, but my father would have done whatever it took to avoid it. He did not bind the demons, if that is your concern. That was done in another era, before the Chantry's laws. That's why the Carter came after me. We need your help, Hawk. I have done extensive research on this Darkspawn, and I believe the original Wardens were wrong. He isn't a threat to humanity. He's our greatest opportunity. A Darkspawn who can talk, feel, reason. Corypheus cares nothing for blights. He used you. The Warden Commander? Don't listen to this creature. He's half Darkspawn himself. I know how to harness Corypheus. Use his magic to end the Blights. No! The Wardens knew. Corypheus is too powerful. My only purpose now is to end the Blight. Her father was no fool. This is wrong. Worth the risk. If he doesn't help, it's one more big darkspawn to stick a bolt in. No big deal. If the Wardens locked this creature up, they did it for a reason. Corypheus calls her, and she listens. She brought him the Carter, sent them for you. You must help us. Why would this Darkspawn want to end the Blights? He is no mindless monster. This search for the old gods comes at a terrible cost to his people. He tricked you. These are not your thoughts. They are his calling. How many of them died in Ferelden alone? And that was the least of the Blights. How could you trust any deal this Darkspawn makes with you? Do not think me foolish, Hawk. I am making no deal. I have a spell which can control Corypheus. Bind him to my will. He will be a new, important weapon in the war on the Blights. No more, no less. Are you talking about using blood magic? Everything that was done to him was through the power of blood. The Wardens imprisoned Corypheus before the Chantry banned such magic. It is the only way to hold him. They never bound him. Only the walls. He cannot be held. Corypheus may be as great a threat as the next Blight. We can't risk freeing him. We'll find a way to do this with or without you, Hawk. This prison will be broken. The Blights will end. Come. With me! We will beat them to the seal! Well, that escalated quickly, didn't it? No, it won't. She's a maid, she can just blast her way right through it.
Hey, you don't have to take my word for it if you don't want to. Let me show you. It slowed her down for all of two seconds. I don't trust her. We have to make sure she doesn't release Corypheus. No, I know, I know. Ooh, puzzle time. Fun. Do not touch anything. The old defenses are active again. Very unpredictable, very dangerous. There! That's the one Janica wants dead. You do Janica's bidding. Janica shared knowledge of Corypheus with the Carta. When she releases the Master, we will be rewarded. Turn back, and I will spare you. There's no turning back. We may die here, but we will take you with us. No! Don't! To arms, and pray that Corypheus honors our sacrifice! Ah, oh, you little shitheads. You made me have to solve a puzzle now. Anyway. These are just basic card dwarves, they are no trouble. The puzzle is the real trouble. Trapped. Carter fools always where they don't belong. This shouldn't have happened. Don't worry, we'll find a way out. Yes. Yes. Think. There must be a way. I was here once before. A long time ago. Yeah. The magic... The magic flows in streams. They must be joined for the way to open. Yes. Yes, that's it. Alrighty. So from the eastern wall, that's where I'm standing now. See if I can remember how to do this. I believe... There's a couple different ways you can do it. I think this is the fastest one, though. This one's three times, if I remember correctly. You. Three. Then, to the far side. There you go. It worked. Three, three, one. Quickly now. We have a ways to go yet. And that should be that. There is another puzzle you can do related to this, but I really don't want to do it. Because <laughs> I can never bloody remember that one because it's more complicated. I think it's like three one three two three one or something like that. Going from the eastern wall. I don't know. From the western wall. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna do it. I am very paranoid about missing some other things, though. Huh. I think it was a mage. Arguably a scholar. And now, we have more card dwarves. Ah! There we go. And here we are. Did you really think those old wards would stop me? Look at you. Barely able to string two thoughts together. You've only made it this far because of Hawk. You can still turn away. Do not listen to his voice. You're a fool, Arias. And you should have died here years ago. Oh. Revenant. Strong Revenant. And lots of mages supporting it. Let's get rid of these guys first. 
cleanse, don't I? I never use cleanse, but why not? Ow! Oh! Oh shit. Yeah, this is a tough fight. Oh shit, Aveline. Jesus Christ, Aveline. I don't need stamina. Okay. There we go. There we go. Once we get these damn mages down, it'll be alright. There we go. Kais Kelsarag. Alright. I thought it said Kai Lang for a minute. It's like, ooh. And me three foreshadowing. Anyway. Space ninjas. Anyway. Back to Dragon Age. If I can remember where the hell you're supposed to go. So that's the puzzle back over there. We go through here. Alright, final area. Vimark. Vimark. Yeah, it's the Vimark. Yeah, Vimark Chasm. What's so nice about it? I was just wondering what someplace sinister and foreboding would look like. And here it is. I mean, you've been into the deep roads. You're too late, Larias. Hand over Hawk, and I'll give you a quick death. Hawk has made her choice. The right one. The right choice or the only choice? Malcolm Hawk was not allowed to disagree. It is the past. It doesn't matter. Larias, what does Janica mean by not allowed? How does she know this? Alec, did you tell her? Malcolm Hawk was reluctant. Had to be persuaded. I was Warden Commander. It was my duty. I delivered an ultimatum. Help us, or you'll never see her again. You threatened father. You were going to kill our mother. No, never. He came with us. I never had to decide her fate. She was never told about what passed between Malcolm and me. That doesn't make it better. You see, Hawk, how can you trust anything Larias says? Larias's threats were reprehensible, but he's still right about Corypheus. You can come willingly or not, Hawk. I just need your blood. <laughs> I think not. Jenica is down. Yeah, they're not bad at all. He stirs. Slay him now before he wakes. Before his strength comes. The key. It's not strong enough. Use your blood. Free him and slay him. Oh, is that all we have to do? First we're going to loot the wardens. They have potions and stuff on them. It's almost as if they were anticipating a boss fight. That, that's ridiculous. And... Oh, that's right, you gotta break the outer seals first. Containment pillars, excuse me. Just three more to go. What could possibly go wrong? Really going to do this? Well, yes. It takes hawk blood to open his prison. I imagine he won't stop until he has what he wants. You feel that? Something is lifting. That's the idea, Varric. 
There we go. Now all we have to do is eviscerate ourselves. Not even a wince. I'm impressed, Hawk. to any Magister of Tevinta. On your knees. All of you. The Free Marchers haven't been part of the Imperium for 600 years. You are what held me. I smell the blood in you. You mad? Lord, tell me. What waking dream is this? The light. We sought the golden light. You offered the power of the gods themselves. But it was black, corrupt, darkness ever since. How long? The Golden City. The first violation. The Magisters who brought the Blight. He tainted the world. He speaks to all who carry the corruption. Darkspawn wardens. He brought Janica here. Brought you. If he's been calling the wardens to free him, what's his plan? He seems confused. He slept. While the seals held, he could not wake. He knows nothing of time that passed. We must kill him now, before he comes to. You really think he's one of the original Magisters? That he's been to the Black City? The city! It was supposed to be golden! It was supposed to be ours! If I cannot leave with you, I will leave through you. I seek the light. Okay, temper. Boss the fight, Corypheus. One of the trickiest fights in the game if you don't know how to do it. He's not overly powerful, but he when he's in his little ground form like this, but he comes in stages. He, he has four phases. He will draw from each of the pillars and you must disable them. This is his first phase. Ow. Shit. Alright, here's what you have to do. You deactivate the pillars. When the pillars deactivate, a demon spawns. You then have to make sure you time the cycle correctly so you can run around and avoid his fire attack. What I recommend doing is, once you get to the next pillar, stand on the far, far side. It's directing me to one after the other. Do not... Do not... Do not deactivate all of the pillars at once. I am an acolyte of Dumas! You cannot harm the 
kill all the demons at once because the battlefield will transform and if you do and if you try and deactivate all the pillars at once it'll transform too quickly your companions will be caught in the fire stream and they will die what you need to do is deactivate the pillars one by one at which point he will come back into his new form at this point you will then he will then have more power you then have to go back and deactivate the things again once he goes back into the center but every time he goes back into the center he will transform the battlefield with new elements first he draws from fire then from earth then from lightning and then from nature and then then from spirit i believe or uh, frost excuse me basically his fire is a constant cycle if you try and go through the center of it it will kill you if you stand on the far far outskirts and let it pass you you'll you'll get by with minor damage it'll make more sense when i do it i promise Here he comes. When he comes down to the ground form, you can attack him. And he gets more attacks as he draws from more of the power pillars. Now he retreats back into the center, and now he should draw from nature. Which means rocks. See now how he he brings up rocks, which makes it which makes it harder to navigate the field and get to the next pillars. If you try and deactivate all the pillars at once, your companions will be stuck fighting the demons, and they'll they won't be able to move through the rocks fast enough. They'll get caught by the fire, and they will die. Now for the ice pillar. You will die. Stand on the outskirts, stand on the far side, and the flame will do minor damage. There you go. Fire pillar. Come on, get him quickly, get him quickly. Now retreat. Retreat to the corner. Fire damage is minimal, but yes, obviously, we gotta do it two more times. Lightning and then ice, he draws small four pillars. Lightning. All right, here he comes. Next one. He is. Okay, now for the frost. Now icicles fall from the ceiling, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I love that line. Yeah, we gotta wait for the next one. Oh no, no, he's got the fire. He's got the lightning element. Yeah, some of the pillar, some of the rocks have lightning casting in between them, so you have to be more selective about how you maneuver. Oh, and icicles are falling from the ceiling. He's got all of them now. There we go. Can we get in front of- no, we won't be able to get in front of the fire, we just gotta stay out. Take it for a minute, it's minimal on the edge. Alright, now let's see if we can get through quickly. Damn it. Getting slowed by the ice does not help. Containment pillar. And 
got to stay out of range of the fire. And one more time should do it. See just how much he screws up this battlefield. I mean, just look at this. Just look at all this shit. Seriously. That should do it. This should be the last one. Or maybe there's one more, I don't know. I think we might have him. Yeah, we got him. Maneuvering is harder than actually fighting him. That is the end of Corypheus. You did well, Hawk. More than the Grey Wardens of old were able to accomplish. I will tell the Warden Commander of your service here. I don't think we're supposed to come back from the calling. I must try. You've gained an ally today. Why are you talking like that? My head is clear now. Without Corypheus's call, I can think again. I thank you for my freedom. The Wardens won't thank me for the deaths of their own. Janica ignored the Warden Commander's express orders when she sought to free Corypheus. They'll be relieved she's gone. The prison stands no more. My gratitude you have for my freedom. I said you wouldn't believe me. When the Seekers arrived at the structure, this prison, it was destroyed. The Grey Wardens were there, but they did not mention this, Lorias. They claimed everyone was dead. And now you claim the Champion was not only there, but defeated a Magister. One of the Magisters of old. Left there by the Wardens themselves. A curious tale. I wonder if there's more to it. A small matter. A moment for the last of the family, and an echo. You'll forgive me if I take a liberty or two. It's amazing how the past haunts us. All this hardship because of what happened so many years ago. That was a big risk to take without Mother's consent. Tempting the Blight is apparently a theme for our family. One glorious day, we'll learn to leave well enough alone. It gets harder every year to remember what father was like. I thought he knew everything. You know, as much as he had to spend time training me, he was so proud of you and Carver, his little soldiers. What he'd think now, I don't know. The alternative being quiet lives as maids and stable boys. An idea not without charm. But you're right. Being normal would have required wholly different parents. And I wouldn't want that. Thank you for taking care of everything, sister. Malcolm would be happy you two aren't at each other's throats. Not all the time. He sacrificed so we would have a life free to choose. Must have been a terrible burden. Much like the burden you've assumed. I do what I can. Sometimes it doesn't seem like enough. You know, your father tried to help people the same way. Tried to fix trouble he saw in others. The best of him is still with you. The best of all of us. It's what makes you try so hard. You will always have that. We will always be family. It'll be all right. <laughs>